respected chairman and colleagues first of all i would like to thank dr ravi for inviting me for this cav for this lecture friends i am going to share with you we we'll learn together why this pitfalls occur this problems occurs with ankle fractures and how to avoid this problems by planning and what are these pitfalls and what are the tips and tricks to avoid this and how to come out of it let me start with the case i have made it case based active lady no diabetes lateral myelitis fracture on displays fall on the ground no much pain immediately this is a mortise view what will you prefer non operative or operative and why surgeon choose to do a non operative treatment and plaster is given and this is the up to the plaster is it okay now patient had a pain continuous so we went for a gravity stress view and surprisingly we found this instability so the first pit pitfall we see only the x ray the third plane is always to be seen dynamic instability and tp is always checked for the instability by stress x rays and this was fixed and this is the result on the case fracture like this again no comorbidities reduction was done in emergency plan for elective fixation and this was fixed is it acceptable no why one must go for checking this syndesmosis instability by hook test like this as it is shown in this video or by a tap test push the tap and see whether whether there is a widening or you can have a ballotme test for antero posterior instability so always think about the dynamic stability before completing the fixation and this was fixed with the syndesmosis screw like this with the pointed clamp put like this another key, and this is the follow up another case where surgeon put the clamp here for the reduction of syndesmosis and fixation is it okay no again when literature says then when you put the, this clamp too much anterior or too much posteriorly then it leads to mal reduction of syndesmosis and that leads to a problem so what is recommended tip is always put the clamp exactly the lateral malleolar ridge and central point of the medial tibial cortex and in the line of the anatomical axis of the syndesmosis so literature says there are problems with the clamps if it is not put well in the line another case surgeon tried to fix the syndesmosis is it okay again if you see observe it very minutely you can see here there is a posterior malleolar fracture instability inside which was missed and this has lead to again instability and breakage of the screw so again this is a good tip even if you put a clamp in the right place with the posterior malleolar fracture it is a mal reduced syndesmosis so you need to fix this posterior malleolus before taking the screw and many times it is observed that if you fix the posterior malleolus very well then there is no need of syndesmosis fixation that is noted in the literature in a many series so the police whatever method you use to fix the syndesmosis the most important part and the very for long term reason is the reduction reduction is the most important part for syndesmosis it is observed that 1 mm displacement in the ankle mortis biomechanically leads to decrease the 42% tibio talar contact and that leads to long term arthrosis and long term bad results so this should be prevented and stability should be taken care of another pitfall i try to fix posterior malleolus from anterior to posterior it is very difficult to have a exact trajectory of the screws from anterior to posterior and to check the reduction exactly and it is very important for this fracture to get a good reduction so again when you try to fix the posterior malleolus always go for the ct scan and decide the pathoanatomy of posterior malleolus very well and then you can decide the implant and approach it is always better to go from the posterior and buttress with the plate 
to get the good stability. What we know today is whatever the size of the posterior malleolus, it doesn't matter at all. It is the what matters is the instability of the anchor. Whatever may be the size. Previously, it was shown that if it is less than 25 percent, you may not fix the posterior malleolus. But it is very stability of anchor. The question is what should be the protocol of idle sequence is the restoration of the fibular lag, medial exploration fixation, posterior marrow fixation, assess of the mortise stability and tendospotic fixation. Is it mandatory? No, it is not hard and fast. Achieving the fibular length and the syndesmotic stability are the most important variables. When there is a fibula is combinated, the medial side may be tackled first. Again, this is the problem. Malalignment of fibula leads to arthrosis. And mal length has been, there are many signs to see the length of the fibula. But the surgeon has a problem many times during the surgery on ITV images whether my rotation of the fibula is correct or not. So there is a very good article in the literature. If you draw a line like this on IIT image, you can see that if you see it like a spatula, it is normal. If it is just like a blade, it is an external rotation. And if you see like a spoon, it is an internal rotation. Another pitfall. Can you recognize any pitfall here? What is the pitfall here? What, is the, what will be the problem? Can you recognize it? The problem here is, medial impaction, crushing of the bone and the vertical fracture line, which may need the small buttress plate and the bone graft. That has to be planned. Again, in this adduction injury, and particularly elderly, suspect this and be ready with the implant. In elderly, this routine mode of fixation fails, and it is very difficult to salvage many times. So, in elderly and osteoporotic patients, augmented mode of fixation with the help of the hook plate, cross screw fixation or a combination of fixation with the intramural wires and the plate is important. Again, this patient requires the frequent visits and x-rays and a long, long, long protection. Have we gone through such nightmare? In this type of a fracture, which are not classified, ankylon, it is not pylon, it is not ankle, then it is a very bad soft tissue injury which was highlighted in proximal tibia, red means stop. Understand the annulum first rather than the bone. And fracture will not cause the problem, but the soft tissue causes the problem. So literature says the poor timing leads to poor outcome. And the delayed surgery until the red flag sign is off. Stabilizers has to be taken care of in the third plane. And these are the factors and understanding of these factors and interplay is very important for avoiding the pitfall. I would like to welcome you all for Indo-US foot and ankle course at Ahmedabad in January. There are six international faculties and 12 national faculties and registration is available outside counters in